Hi there. Welcome to another edition of Ask Gem. The question for today is all about neurons, and I love this aspect of psychology, so I can't wait to share it with you. Here's the question. Hi, Gemma. You're awesome. You know that, right? Thank you. Um, here's my issue. I find that I can be in a really positive space, and then I hang out with someone who's grumpy and negative, and all of a sudden I lose my happiness. What's up with that? It's a really good question, and lots of people struggle with this. So what happens is that we have billions and billions of neurons in our mind. And these neurons form together to create what we call a neural network. Now everyone has a different way of talking about neural networks, and my way to talk about it is to call it a map. It's because our neural networks are what guide us to see the world in a particular way, but also how to navigate our world. So they tell us you know, who to be and how to behave and what to think and how to feel and who to love and what to eat. So you have thousands and thousands of these neural networks in your mind, all guiding you how to be in the world. Also in your mind, you have limbic system. And basically, the element that's relevant for today about the limbic system is that it wants you to sort of regulate and connect with the people that you love. And so what happens is there's this, this, this phenomenon called limbic revision. And that means is that if you're in your neural network of happiness, your map is telling you to be happy and to smile and to skip down the street, and then you come across someone that you love and they're grumpy, this limbic system tries to get you to connect with them by sort of matching emotions and getting almost into their map. And so what happens is that we find that typically people tend to be as happy and healthy and successful as the people that they love and that they spend the most time with. And it's because of this limbic revision process. So what do we do about this? The way that maps work is that um, neurons that fire together wire together. So and neurons that fire together and wire together the most become the most dominant maps that you have. So what this means is that if you know that you're going to connect with someone who maybe has a tendency to be a bit of a negative Nancy, make sure you spend a whole lot of time activating your map and whatever that might look like for you. So you might watch some like happy YouTube videos, you might write yourself a love letter, you might go for a run, um, anything that brings you into that, that state of happiness and well-being. Spend a lot of time in repetition reinforcing that before you hang out with, with the person that might bring you down. And then when you're finished with them, go back and make sure that you reactivate your happiness map again. So again, read something inspirational or um, call someone and tell them how much you appreciate them. Anything that you can do to pull you back into your happiness map is going to be a good thing. So this is, this is the answer to your question. It's all about maps and limbic revision and the people that we love. Um, it's the people that we love that have a tendency to allow us or encourage us to become who we want to be, but we certainly have some control over that. So it's not like you need to cut out all the negative Nancys from your life. You may choose that if it feels right to you, but there's a way to work with your mind to allow it to support your happiness no matter who you're with or where you go or what you're doing. So I hope this answers your question. Thank you so much for tuning in and for sending in the questions. I love this part of my practice, so please keep them coming. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. So I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.